Of all the great SaaS ideas pitched by content creators on YouTube, including by me, how many have ever inspired someone and gone from idea to actual SaaS? I might be wrong, I hope I'm wrong, but I think that number is zero. And that's a problem. This video has two goals, one for me and one for you. For me, I genuinely want to know what do you get from watching content creators' list of SaaS and app ideas? Let me know in the comments. For you, if you truly want to learn about SaaS and app development, I would like to suggest some far better ways to do it. I just want to start by saying this video isn't targeted at any one channel because I think at this point, every channel does it. And we do it because it works. It's the YouTube game. They get views. Whenever my scriptwriter and I have a tough time coming up with new ideas for content, he'll go, let's make a SaaS ideas video. And I'll be like, we can't do that. We've already made one. And he's like, but it's gonna get views. And I'm like, fine, just one more. But it's like a drug. It's never just one more. My channel is tiny. No, no, let's use United Nations politically correct language. My channel is developing. So these are pretty good numbers. My SaaS idea videos get a relatively higher view count compared to my other videos. And if you go to other channels like mine, a lot of them get relatively higher views on their SaaS idea videos too. Why am I making such a big deal out of this? Well, grumpy Uncle Adrian just hopes that your journey into app and software development doesn't begin and end with watching videos after videos on SaaS ideas, micro SaaS ideas, solo SaaS ideas, no code SaaS ideas, micro solo no code hand type behind your back SaaS ideas. How many freaking ideas do you want to hear? And more importantly, what do you expect to get from a video on SaaS ideas on YouTube. I cannot remember ever hearing a successful founder who went, oh yeah, I was watching a video called six amazing SaaS ideas I could start this year. And I went eeny, meeny, money mo and landed on number three. And then I solved a huge problem with my micro, solo, no code SaaS. Do I think app and SaaS ideas videos have zero value? Absolutely not. But that would be like asking if junk food has zero nutritional value. I mean, it has some, but if all you ate was junk food, would you actually get enough nutrients to really be healthy? No, and you know it, but it's super fun to eat. So it's easy, so, so easy to overeat. And you can fight me if you want, but SaaS and app idea videos are the junk food equivalent of their software development community. They're fun to watch, and it's easy to watch video after video, but if that's all you ever watch, would you actually learn enough to put together a software product? No, and you know it. Come on, that was a pretty good analogy, wasn't it? I'm sorry for shamelessly praising myself, but damn, sometimes I can't help but be impressed by the dumb shit that comes out of my mouth. And that makes me humble, so it's okay to brag. Either way, I would say I definitely deserve a like and a subscription. I said that SaaS idea videos have some value and they do. I don't just pull app ideas out of my ass. I sit down with my scriptwriter and we do market research looking for actual gaps. Again, not my ass. And I've watched videos from other content creators. They definitely do their homework too. So the ideas are worth trying, but they could never compare to an idea that you find yourself. Because ultimately, we're looking for enough viable ideas to share in a YouTube video. You should be looking for ideas that address problems you care about and want to solve. Our ideas will make you go, oh, that's interesting. Your idea will punch you in the gut and make you go, holy shit, I need to make this happen. Tell me I'm wrong. I double dare you mother Anyways, that's it for the first part of this video. And for real, let me know in the comments, why do you enjoy watching SaaS idea videos? And I would really like to know if you've learned anything from one. I said that SaaS idea videos are like drugs, right? Let's make them a gateway drug to learning. Hashtag that was deep. I'd like to suggest more productive content you should consume on the topic of SaaS and app ideas in my humble opinion. Number one, idea research and validation methods. 
This is the kind of content where you learn about new platforms where you can find and validate ideas, new tools that can speed up the validation process, new marketing and psychology tips that extract more honest audience feedback. Deeper knowledge in all three makes you better at finding app ideas. In fact, let me share one tool with you right now, courtesy of this video's sponsor, AppSumo. The tool is called Yep. It does just one thing really well speed up the creation of landing pages. When it comes to validating your app or SaaS idea, ideally, you just need a landing page. So even if it fails, you haven't just spent 12 weeks building a prototype for nothing. I'm gonna piss off marketers here, but a decent landing page doesn't need that much brain power. It's really formulaic, just a matter of putting in time to get it done. Yep, shortens that time significantly. All you have to do is click on create page Describe what you want to sell, specify your value proposition, and wait a few minutes. Yep generates a tailored landing page draft that's 80% done. This is a more serious example. Withholding taxes are a really tricky topic, and it handled it quite well. And for my viewers, with batshit crazy ideas, I tested something weird, and Yep did fine. If you enjoyed A-B testing, Yep makes it easy to test multiple landing pages for the same idea. The normal price for a pro plan is $29 a month, but there's a lifetime deal on AppSumo for just $49. 50 bucks and you can have up to 50 published landing pages at a time. Integrate the page signups with an external database. Use your own domain name, add post signup surveys, and customize your page with CSS the developer in me approves. For the rest of your life, great value for any founder. The deal is only valid for 30 days starting from the 5th of February, 2024. So check them out, link in description. Number two, case studies and business model deep dives. On the surface, the difference is that with a case study, you are studying something with proven success instead of just potential success. But I think the real difference between a case study and a list of app ideas is that with a case study, you're not looking for end products. You're looking for reliable processes. Clearly, the founders of that eight figure SaaS did something right. What did they do right? And more importantly, what did they do wrong? Or what would they have done differently if they had to start from scratch? How did they find their niche to specialize in? How did they find their audience and market? If you can adopt their practices and learn from their mistakes, you're more likely not just to find a viable idea, but to successfully execute that idea. If that sounds good, start with my case study on Alex Turnbull, a non-tech founder who built a $10 million SaaS. Alex did something very ballsy. I think so anyway, but you be the judge. Number three, app development methods. I mean, I said that content creators do research into the viability of our SaaS idea suggestions. So pick one and build it. I think the biggest learning experience here will be interacting with real users, finding them, asking them for feedback, asking them to be early testers, deciding on loyalty programs, and learning to say no to ridiculous requests. And for that, you need my guide on how to make an app from start to finish in 12 weeks. Number four, live live. Technically, life is a type of content, right? The more of it you consume, the more experience you will have. And very closely related to case studies, you'll notice that a lot of founders are not just glued to their screens 24 seven. They go out and experience the world. They meet people, they learn new skills, discover new talents, and along the way, they inevitably become a better overall problem solver. So how do you live more of life? I don't know. I don't actually have one myself. What does Coach Greg say? Stop it! Stop being a moron! Stop being a lazy person! <laughs> I've never been so inspired and insulted at the same time in my life. But you heard the man, I guess join a club or something. I don't know if you've heard of a channel called More Plates, More Dates. The guy's called Derek and he does videos on optimizing men's health from a hormonal standpoint. He talks about hair loss prevention, muscle building, sleep hygiene, and many more. But by far, his most popular videos are these natty or not, where he speculates on whether or not popular fitness influencers and celebrities are using steroids. Spoiler, they all are. These videos don't teach anything, but Derek acknowledges that it's meant to reach a mass audience and lead them to more educational topics they may have otherwise never heard of. 
I think he has a good point and he has a wildly successful channel, a case study for me. So I don't enjoy them, but I'll do more SaaS idea videos if it means I reach more new people just toying with the idea of app development and introduce them to deeper concepts and ideas. So hey, check out my five micro SaaS ideas video here. Thank you for watching to the end. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. I love you guys and thank you for all the support.